In 2003, Dubai announced a multi-billion dollar project, The Word. This man-made group of islands was designed to look like a map of the earth. It was supposed to have luxurious houses and tourist resorts, all just a short boat ride from Dubai. But today, about 12 years after the islands were completed, they are still empty. What happened here? Let's find out. In the early 2000s, real estate developers saw a big chance to create artificial land off the coast of Dubai. The real estate market in Dubai was booming, and there was a huge demand for oceanfront properties. So Nakheel Properties, a government-owned company, planned to transform the region within two decades. Between 2001 and 2006, Nakheel announced several ambitious projects. They planned to build three island developments, each designed to look like a palm tree from above, Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jebelali, and the largest Palm Dera. Additionally, they unveiled the world, a series of islands shaped like a world map, intended for various uses including residential and commercial. These projects aim to transform almost all of Dubai's coastline, stretching from the Emirate of Abu Dhabi on one side to the Emirate of Sharjah on the other. The confidence in these projects was astounding, as they were seen as key to making Dubai a top tourist destination and diversifying its economy beyond oil. In 2001, Nekil began constructing Palm Jumeirah, which was set to double Dubai's coastline. By 2006, the land reclamation was finished and the first apartments were handed over. The Palm's branches were mainly filled with private residences while luxury hotels were built on the surrounding breakwater to shield the island from storms. As Palm Jumeirah was being built, other projects also began to take shape. The early 21st century marked a period of rapid growth for Dubai, with the real estate market surging and landmark projects like the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building being constructed. In September 2008, the Atlantis Hotel on Palm Jumeirah opened with a stunning fireworks show. However, Dubai was soon hit hard by the global financial crisis, especially in real estate. Many mega-projects, including the artificial islands, faced risk of potential failure, and numerous construction sites were shut down. Due to low demand, the price of land plots dropped quickly, causing the development of Palm Jebel Ali to stop. In 2011, Nekil Properties offered refunds to investors, and the project has been paused since then. The seven kilometers long sandbanks now look abandoned. The palm is behind Jebel Ali port, with no city nearby, and most of the original plans seem to have vanished. Palm Dera is in a similar situation. Land reclamation had started but wasn't finished. In 2013, Nikhil tried to save it by renaming it to Dubai Islands. Now there's some construction happening for a mall, two tall buildings, and a shopping street. Finally, the world. The land for the world project was mostly created, and many islands were sold before the financial crisis. But development stopped because investors faced problems after the crisis. Even though new projects in Dubai grew after the crisis, but the world did not benefit because investors were unsure about returns. Ten years after the project's launch, it seemed outdated. Concerns about the project's future arose as reports said the channels between islands were filling with sand. Rising sea levels also posed a threat. There were growing worries about land reclamation projects. Residents of Palm Jumeirah complained about water quality. The breakwater, which protects the palm from erosion, also stops natural water movement, making the seawater inside stagnant. Environmental concerns also grew. Dumping tons of sand on a previously flat seabed affects marine life. The islands are made mainly of sand dredged from Dubai's coastal waters which can destabilize the coastal soil and erode the natural coastline. These issues have long been known, but it's now harder to market projects seen as harmful to the environment. Recent projects try to be more environmentally friendly. The pool conditions of migrant construction workers in Dubai are also getting more media attention. Despite the challenges, some development projects on these islands are starting to take shape. At first, only one island was developed with a villa that served as a show house to promote the project. In summer 2012, the Royal Island Beach Club opened on Lebanon Island, attracting daytime tourists who arrived by boat. The biggest project was announced in 2014. An Austrian real estate investor plans to develop several projects on the European islands, called the Heart of Europe. The goal is to create a mini version of Europe, 
featuring luxury hotels inspired by places like Venice and Monaco. There will also be restaurants offering European food, and a plaza on the Swiss island where artificial snow will fall. And these projects are still currently under construction. Even with these plans, 90% of the islands in the world project remain undeveloped and are slowly being overtaken by the sea. Dubai's Sheikh knows about this issue and is working on new ambitious projects to solve it. The new plan includes building 32 villas on Germany Island and 72 floating suites. These floating suites will offer tourists a unique experience, allowing them to enjoy views of the sea from above and observe marine life from underwater bedrooms. Despite these challenges, Dubai continues to move forward with other impressive projects. Examples include Palm Jumeirah, the Museum of the Future, and the Dubai Expo 2020. Upcoming projects also feature the world's first dynamic tower, which will have rotating floors for 360-degree views of the city. Well, that's the end of our video. If you enjoy it, please like and subscribe.